2024. What up, y'all? Welcome to the nation. Monster Nation, that is. I'm your host. I'm your president. I'm your tour guide. I'm the king around here. I'm the landlord, the owner, tenant, the janitor. I mops the damn floor. I'm still outside. I ain't been home since the Rock Missing Friends event, which was dope. The vibes was vibing in there. We're going to continue this. We're going to keep it going. <clears throat> I was just having a conversation with my man Jeff to death, right? It was like, he's talking about rappers beefing. And you know, I've known Jeff for a long time, right? And... I, I think it's safe to say when we as long as we've known each other, we've known each other through a few through a few individual dramas and statics and shit. Like I'm sure he like I, I I seen him accost a nigga on the steps of his crib one time. That's not considered beef, but I'm just saying we was with the shits. We ain't that we wasn't out in the streets slanging and you understand what I'm saying? But Separately, I'm aware that he's going through his favorite shit. And I know he's aware that I've gone through my favorite shit, right? What's hard for us to fathom right now is what it must be like to have beef at this age. Pause. Like all you niggas on the internet beefing and shit. Look, look, this is the reason why and this is this is the reason why Eminem made one he made one little diss track about benzino and then just stopped talking and benzino just went you know he just kept going on and on and on and on and crazy with the shit and we haven't heard a peep from eminem since i think this is why because who who got the energy for all that shit at this age B? i'm not saying like i don't think you ever can i get a, give me a light on this shit light on the topic no light there all right can y'all see me better yeah yeah that's a little better who the fuck wants to be do you know what beef is like what like real drama is like who want to go through that in their 40s and 50s b who like you really all of that all of that, you cooped up in the crib with your man, niggas loading up ammunitions, staking out, strict weed and water diet. That was then, now it's like, nigga, I'm going home. I need to go home, B, what the? What you say, son, niggas? <laughs> Let's continue to stake out the mall, my nigga. Like this shit ain't. I gotta, I, I, I gotta put in this work in time to, in, in time to, in time to take my daughter to school in the morning. Like this shit is, it's crazy. Be like this. <laughs> shit gotta feel different, B. I don't want to know what this shit feel like. This is the way, this is the reason why when I blog, I be trying to be nice to everybody. Cause I don't see how, I don't see how y'all niggas do it, B. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm scared of none of you niggas, right? Trust me, I'm not. But B, who want to go through this shit? Nah, nigga. God damn. Even, let me tell you something. When you get to a certain age, you have a fight with a nigga, even if you win the fight, it feel like you lost the fight, nigga. <laughs> I promise you. And that's why niggas start resorting to drastic measures. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I just I just wanted to speak about this for a second. You know what I'm saying? Share these little, share these thoughts with y'all. Cause what is these niggas doing, B? Like, 